Well, that's a big monster. Also, I've taken some damage, so I should heal. Uh, I have several food items. Which... Or, uh... Which I have, don't have on my menu. So, uh, let's pick one of those out. For instance, a- oh. It cures blind, which could be useful to have later on. Okay, we'll use that. And that. Still need to use all three of these. Maybe the juice as well? Do I have a juice recipe? I do. Turn around, please. You are really scary. Mad Tree. Over 700 HP. A plant monster from the mountains. Slows praise with mud. Weak against fire. Well, okay then. Don't need to tell me twice. Sometimes. Okay, that seemed an effective start. Fine, isn't it? Nothing in here. Oh, it turned out. Ah, that was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake! Oh! Interesting. Probably hit something now since you have. Okay, well, I mean, Shara, that's sort of the worst of both worlds. TBH. TBH. I feel like you could have done better there, Shara. Little bit! to kill that one with a double strike. Especially with the crit. I suppose. Anyone have a clue what this place is? It's way too big for these bandits to have built, and it seems pretty ancient. It almost feels like a stronghold of some sort, and I agree, this place is pretty old. 
I wonder if people used hidden forts like this one as hideouts back then. As far as I've heard, the turmoil following the Great Collapse continued on for several hundred years. So it doesn't seem that strange to me that something like this is still around. The collapse of the ancient Zemurian civilization, which existed more than 1200 years ago. It's said that a huge natural catastrophe wiped them out. I tell you what though, for being a place this hard to find, someone's got some seriously bad taste in hideouts. Not to mention there's all sorts of monsters lurking around too. I wonder if this is how all men like to live. Strega R. This just has nothing left to offer you. Strega R. Those are boots? I'm already wearing. That's better than what Joshua has. So let's give them to him. Oh hey. Oh! No defense, but plus three movement. Now that's interesting. Often the catch of the day at fishing spots, light and airy. I get it. Um, okay, I can actually use those if I ever need to be able to move quickly later on at a later point. Something that I need that I should keep in mind. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Oh. There's a monster in here. There's another doorway here. And there's a dead end here. Okay. Anything behind the monster. Actually, I should fight you anyway, to be honest. There isn't something behind the monster. Let's see. You know what? You should do this. You should definitely do the same. Firebolt. And... Firebolt. I'm not sure being blinded matters much. Oh, you know what does matter though? I've knocked you so far away that I don't think I can reach you. Well, you missed. Fortunately, I blinded you. Alright, we're good to go. Yeah, okay, what's this way? It's a box! Bear Assault. This chest is empty because you emptied it. Funny how that works, you know? Uh, Bear Assault. No, 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 no. Aha! A large caliber hunting gun made by the Verse Corporation. Plus 18. Nothing for Estelle, though. Hmm. Turn around. Okay, what's in here? Monster. I don't need to fight you. I thought about it, but no. It does not need to happen.
Oh, okay, that is continuing forward, right? There. Oh, okay. It's a dead end. Uh, let's just... Yeah, okay. Who are you guys supposed to... We, we've already done this routine. It looks like the hostages are being held in the room just beyond here. I think it's time you surrender quietly. Or else. I mean, they're not going to. And I'm going to blow them up. So, you know, fair is fair. Is fair. Yeah, stand all bunched up like that. We'll make a game to see how many of you I can hit with a single attack. Right now, three. I think I can do better. definitely kill you, so... <laughs> I love that! It is terrific. Well, looks like I had your number. Big surprise. Okay, all of us leveling up with Joshua and Estelle. Actually, and Shara. All of them, really. Lots of fire. And the hostages! Most of them, anyway. I noticed a conspicuous lack of Lucius Bright. Bright? Bright. Is everyone alright? We're with the Bracer Guild, and we've come to rescue you! Seriously? We're saved! We've taken care of the guards, so you don't need to worry about anything at the moment. We've been saved? I'm Grant, Captain of the Airliner, Lind. I don't know how to express my gratitude for what you've done for us here today. You can thank us after we've gotten you out of here. By the way, uh, are these all the hostages? Yes, that's correct. This is everyone who was on the Lind, including crew and passengers. That can't be right. Wasn't there a man by the name of Cassius Bright on th this flight? He's a member of the Bracer Guild. Cosmos Bright? Hmm. I do seem to remember hearing that name somewhere. Uh, Captain, isn't he the passenger? You know, the one who got off right before we left? Right! Now that you mention it, there was one passenger who did get off. So Cosmos wasn't even on the ship. Which does explain how they managed to hijack it. Uh, well... There was this one passenger who disembarked the airliner right before we took off. The man who had been on board since the Royal City. 
And you did seem to have a na such a name, if I remember correctly. Well, since he got off right before we departed, there wasn't any time to document the change. This would have been handled had we arrived in Roland, but we were attacked by the Sky Bandits and Root, and things were left as they were. Well, it looks like our question has finally been answered. Ha! <laughs> How ironic. I don't know about that. Yeah, that's a very good question. Focus on needs... Our focus needs to be on securing the safe pa safety of these hospitals. You're right. I guess I'll just have to forget about it for now. Listen up, everyone. We are now going to go after the Sky Bennett leaders and arrest them. I know you must all feel... I know how you must all feel, but I need you to sit tight for a little while longer. If that's the case, we'll prepare for the worst. Our lives are in your hands. In other words, don't let us down! All things considered, I'm surprised you were able to find and get to in this place. Being a bracer must be a tough occupation. Now I'll finally be able to get back to my travels. Being stuck here has put a real kink in my plans. Hmm. Thanks for coming to our rescue, bracers. Thank you for saving us. No one is sick or injured. Uh, hmm. I'm pretty sure the leader are somewhere on the lowest level of this place. Be careful. Are you guys brazers? Are you gonna arrest the nice guards? More than myself, I'm glad to know Ad gets being saved. Hmm. Oh, I'm finally able to get home to Zeiss. Ha! Huh. I knew you'd come to save us. Thank you all! This is the first time I'd ever ridden on an airliner. And to think something like this would happen. Oh, wait, before I forget. There we go. There's another door there. Oh! Aha! It's a secret entrance! And exit. That's quite a neat little trick there. I wouldn't expect anything left less from a secret fort. No, we need to take out the bandits first. If we're attacked while attempting to escape, there's no way we'll be able to protect that many people. Let's do that. Okay, so I'll be able to come back in here later on if I miss something. Which, I don't think I will, but... I mean, the pattern so far has been check the doors first. Hmm. Not yet. Aha! Reviving Ball. The treasure chest is offended that you have returned. Was the first time not good enough for you? 